Hey, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagar Prajapati and this video will be talking about how we can add a multiple columns in a data frame in a single line using with columns in Databricks. So let's get started for today's video. So for that what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just create a sample data frame. So let me write here data is equal to and I'll just add two records for you know for this demo purpose. So I can write here one comma my name and second is two comma some other person name. Cool. And now quickly I'm just gonna create one small data frame by using df is equal to spark dot create data frame and here I'll write data and then I'll write here schema is equal to okay uh, schema is equal to I can write id integer comma name as a string cool so if I run it now and if I try to display your data then you can see like we have id and name columns right now our task is to add a columns like I need to add two columns so for that how uh, what can I do I can quickly write here df one is equal to df dot with column right you you have seen this this method like df dot with column i can write here h and suppose i want to add some constant value so i'll write here uh, like 10 and suppose i need to add one more column then again i have to write here with column and then again i'll write here some you know let's say year i'm adding and here again i like to I, I have to write here lit 2023 cool and let me you know just import this method also so i'll write here from pyspark dot sql dot functions import lit and if i run it now even if i do this df is equal to df and if i just try to display the data then you can see that you know we have these four columns now id name age and year but suppose you have to add like you know 20 columns you you, you have to add a 20 columns then what will you do will you add this with column with column 20 times no right so instead we can use with columns method with columns method and it is it is proposed in uh, you know or we can say it is available from spark 3.30 version i can you you can also see that my cluster uh, version is 3.30 okay so see why this is not good because internally what does spark do is it creates a new data frame like you know this is one data frame when we add this with column second time again it will create a new data frame on top of this internally it is happening and if i if i write one more with column function then again it will create a new data frame so it is something like you know it is creating three data frame on top of this so if your data frame is very large or your data set is very large it will take much time to you know to process your data because shuffling can be happen here that's that's the reason apache spark company what does it do they bring up with this with column method so how we can use that see i am simply writing the same here df is equal to df dot with columns and here i'll pass a dictionary let's say age age and i am passing here lit 10 simple comma year right year and in key i'll pass lit 2023 just run this and if i do here display of df then you can see we have the same column even though you know if i just uh, start from the scratch and if i run it now then also you can see we have the same value sorry i have to run this and after running this with columns method you can see that you know we have the same same method now you can see also it took 0.23 seconds and this took 0.33 second okay let me add one more column with here uh, let me add one more column here let's say uh, something called month and 
and here I am let me add 20 not 0 2 no not 0 to 2 it is 4 right now it took 0 0.32 seconds okay and let me add it here so see how simple is it right month comma what comma what 2 not 2 4 and let me run it again and let's go down and run this I okay I have to head a LIT now you can see it took only 0 0.0 second but it took like 0 0.32 second if I run it again and if I go down and run this method again then you can see it is like 0 0.28 seconds so let me remove this and let me run it now then you can see it is it is taking only uh, 0.16 like 16 6, 6, 0 0.016 right 0.16 seconds and uh, like if I run this then you can see it is only taking 0.15 so somehow this is uh, you know the second method is faster than the previous one so if I run it again then it will not take much time right so this is the you know this is the difference between with column and with columns I hope you are using also the current or latest version of spark or actually you should always use the latest version of spark you know to get the new features of the spark so I mean if you if you are not using please switch to the new, newer version so that you will also get the you know get get use of uh, you know get the flexibility of the spark or you know get the latest feature of the spark in your notebook so I hope you have understood the concept. If you do, do like, share with your friends and till then, bye-bye.